for the past year, we've been talking to other like-minded organizations that we found either in industry or in academia or within the Army about this idea for uh, co-creation, but not on a macro scale, uh, co-creation that essentially gives uh, soldiers a platform to come together and voice their problems and voice their concerns and that's turned uh, and put back into the fight. I believe co-creation is accessing the community of soldiers, industry, and academia to develop any idea further than if it hadn't received outside collaboration. What's meaningful about co-creation to the soldier, in the battlefield especially, is you are working with their input, starting with their challenges, and you're asking them, what is it that you need to solve? You're giving them the ideas that they have as an initial solution set, and then you are working with those back and forth with the group that had the problem initially in order to be able to come quickly to a set of solutions that they can judge and evaluate in a theater of operations, particularly valuable in industries where good solutions need to be found in a time-critical manner. And that, after all, is the definition of an environment that a soldier works in. I'm Colonel Pete Newell. I'm the director of the U.S. Army Rapid Equipment Force, an organization charged by the Army with rapidly developing solutions to problems for soldiers in the battlefield. Ninety percent of the, the best things that the Rapid Equipment Force has ever done uh, were the result of uh, a partnership between a soldier, a scientist, and a representative from the Asymmetric Warfare Group all on the ground together uh, where the problem existed on the battlefield. We want to recreate that small nucleus of, of interaction on a macro scale so that we can repeat it in multiple places and pull more soldiers, more scientists, and more problem solvers together in a much larger community of interest that works at the same speed and can prototype, quite honestly, at, at the speed of a conversation. Local Motors represented exactly the structure that I thought represented what the Rapid Equipping Force ought to look like in the future. My name is Jay Rogers. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Local Motors, and here we are today at Local Motors Microfactory. Local Motors was approached by the REF to talk about what we had done in the creation of cars, the co-creation quickly, and then the micro-manufacturing of those. Today, we're trying to be a different way of approaching problems. We at Local Motors are trying to say, because challenges change and come at you so fast, the solution provider needs to be able to read those challenges and give multiple robust solutions to those challenges as they come up. You can have the best team in the world, and, uh, but the minute you define that team as a, as a fixed set of people, you've just made your skill set static. The thing about a community is that that adaptation, instead of it being, well, I hope I have this guy who is enough of a genius that he can basically flex from one challenge to the next, now you, you could have any number of different people that if you set it up right, the right people basically get attracted to the right problem. And that now you've got a team that is fully dynamic and flexible, so you just have to have your techniques down for getting the word out to the people for whom that challenge will really, you know, uh, tickle in the right way. And that's why we're approaching this business model in a different way. We're using co-creation and micromanufacturing to stand apart from the traditional contracting environment as somebody that works with their partner, like Local Motors works with REF, to be able to achieve the best answer, the fastest, in a rapidly changing environment. Soldiers are living and breathing the fight day in and day out, so they have the best ideas for new capabilities and technology to solve their most urgent challenges. We need to create a means for connecting those ideas to the people who can make innovations a reality. I believe local motors can help get us there. So for nine years of my life, I was in the United States Marines as an infantryman. And I constantly felt the pressure of having two little tools at my behest to do jobs that were too big for any rational person to take on at once. Therefore, solving that effective imbalance was the number one thing that I wanted to do as a soldier, as a Marine in the battlefield. Why I'm so excited about partnering with REF is that I believe this will be the first opportunity for me as a man in business to be able to help solve that imbalance and provide better solutions in a more time-sensitive way 
that will both keep our troops safer and allow them to achieve mission accomplishments sooner. And that's why we're so excited about working with the Rep. The innovation has been around forever. Soldiers have been innovating in every fight that they have ever been because that's what they have to do to survive. The great thing about co-creation at the soldier level, it is innovation by soldiers for soldiers. And it's really who we want solving the problems and identifying the battlefield. They're the smartest guys out there. They know what the problems are. We just have to be there to observe what's happening and provide them the platform where we can actually deliver the idea and that we can prototype that idea at the speed of a conversation.